guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Today we're going to be talking about how I paid off my $5,000 credit card in about six months. That was my first step into really getting serious about my debt-free journey. I've been watching a lot of Dave Ramsey, as with everybody else in the debt-free community. My original balance on my credit cards back in July 2017 was $4,820. And that was the starting balance in July 2017. I ended up paying all of it in January 2018, so that took roughly about a six month. Let's be real. Let's be very, very real. I was and still am in a lot of debt. Before July 2017, I was an idiot. I was an idiot with my money. Well, technically it's not even my money since it's borrowed money. Like after talking to my brother and watching Dave Ramsey videos on YouTube, that's when I was like, crap, I got to get a hold of this debt. I'm not getting any younger because it's kind of stifling. Having debt is super, super stifling. And honestly speaking, I just needed to get my shit together. So first things first, when it came to tackling my debt, I focused on my credit card and and I only have one credit card. $2,000 of that debt, of that credit card debt, came from putting a new engine in my 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee that was a money pit and had so many issues. That was by far the dumbest purchase I've ever made. I spent $2,000 and then my dad spent like $1,200 putting in the engine. So it was a costly mistake for a car that still doesn't run. It still shuts off still have it in my driveway. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. I wish I could go back and slap my past self. That was the dumbest thing I've ever done. The rest were like clothes and miscellaneous items. I wanted to clear off my credit card debt because it had the highest interest rate at 17.99%. That's just a little bit crazy if you ask me. That's a a lot crazy. So what I did was I moved back in with my parents and I treated the card payments, like the monthly payments, as um, rent essentially. I paid anywhere from $800 to like $1,100 towards my credit card debt and I know most people don't have the luxury of going back and moving in with their parents but that's something that worked for me and it feels great having paid off that amount. My money went towards paying off my credit card and then also doing my monthly payments for my car in addition to the monthly payments for my student loans. The same amount that I was paying towards my credit card is now rolled over to pay off my car. So I've got like $5,000 left of my car. So I'm going to talk about tips that help me pay off my credit card debt. Hopefully they help you too. First tip was to target one debt at a time. I chose my credit card because again it had the highest interest rate, it was the lowest amount, and I could see the most immediate results. Number two, I didn't add any new charges to that credit card. If I didn't have the money to buy something, I did not buy it. Another tip is to pay more than the minimum. So I would throw like $800 and try to pay it off faster. These are other tips that I didn't use, but it could be helpful. You could always transfer that amount to a 0% interest credit card and try to pay it off that way. I didn't do that, but that's what some of the blocks say that you should do, so I'm going to throw it out there. And if you have multiple cards, definitely consolidate. It feels really good to say that I paid off that credit card. It feels really good to know that I don't have credit card debt anymore. It feels good to know that I'm also now tackling my car loan, and that's almost paid off. Hopefully, a few extra overtime shifts will help me take care of that in no time. Let me know how you're handling your debt. Let me know any advice. I don't like debt, but then again, neither does anybody else. So hopefully you're enjoying this journey with me. If you are, give it a thumbs up and um, let me know in the comments below whether you, where you are in your debt-free journey. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you when I see you. Bye, guys.